<laughs> okay, so it's armor. Would have been nice if it altered this entire suit. Enjoying my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen The Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And today, if you read by the title, you know what time it is. It's time to go ahead and take those driver belts, put our gas hats up in them for some more Kamen Rider X8 reaction. Man, we saw a whole lot of gold in the last episode. Of a whole lot of gold and some fabulous dreads, if I say so myself, man. My boy was getting his Milli Vanilli on. Uh, I'm talking about my boy Emu. Yes, Emu came through. He made a lot of power plays and he was very deceptive in his approach, which is what I love, you know, because oftentimes with this character, he seems to be very naive in his assessments. So it was nice to see him do something that was kind of out of character. Um, as you guys know, we have these other proto gash ass that we've been trying to uh, acquire and Karuto has actually taken it upon himself to make his own gash hat in the form of the Hyper Matuki or Mutuki gash hat, which is essentially this thing that's going to be a cheat code up in this epic battle that we have against Cronus. You know, Cronus, he already has his own cheats in the form of being able to pause the game since he's essentially the game master of this Kamen Rider Chronicles thing that we have going. Speaking of which, he announced that they're going to be doing this big competition where anybody who just so happens to defeat him can essentially revive one of their loved ones or something like that. And whenever you have an opportunity that big, you have to take it. So a lot of people have been trying to come up against him, but to no avail. Also, he's promised Hero that he will bring his girl back if he can actually defeat x -Aid and his group and he's gonna aid Hero in doing so by giving him the Tattle Legacy form which Hero tries to use but it doesn't work yeah it doesn't work and Masamune is under the impression that it doesn't work because Hero's resolve isn't there he's still being a pussy and also when Emu tries to use the Hyper Mutuki or Muteki Gashat, it also doesn't work. And we come to find out it's because he doesn't have that Genius Gamer M form anymore because uh, it's been extracted by way of Parade, who's been running around doing his own thing nowadays. So Emu devises a plan. He's going to talk to Parade and he's going to try to convince Parade to work alongside him. But it's not in the way that Parade thinks. Yes, he says that A. We can defeat Masamune if you just go ahead and jump into this bug visor. We're gonna do that. We're gonna let you pop out at the right time before, like the you know Masamune does his almighty pause, and we're gonna get the drop on him. But that's not what happens. Imu, you know, he decides that a. Hey, I had him, but what if I was able to have him again? So he uses the bug visor and injects himself with him, which enables him to use this new form, which is a uh, Matuki Gamer, which consists of all gold attire, fabulous golden dreadlocks, which makes him look like the lost Mila Vanilli member, and the ability to just go all out, you know, at a golden speed which is awesome, you know, like I think this is gonna be a cool form. It's very reminiscent of what we saw with Super Mario Brothers when you get that star power and you're basically invulnerable to any kind of attack and you can destroy anything that's in your path. Really love that, man. But now, you know, we, uh, I think we're gonna see some cool things happen, you know, there's gonna be some ultimate forms all out, all throughout this series as we come to a conclusion. But anyways, with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, man. This is going to be episode 37 titled, Resolution of the White Knight. Here we go. Level 100, nigga. Deal or no deal, make your choice. Do you wanna hear your girlfriend say the same thing over and over? None of that matters anymore. Making you a deal of a lifetime. 
Oh, okay, so you want him to kill a buckster. That should be easier to say than done. Hey, he might be way worse than Karuto. He's a scumbag. Still got to save up. You gotta do it like. Ah, okay. Saki chan. So, this is gonna be Hiro's father in law if he and Saki got married. It's because of this bitch ass nigga right here. We need to go ahead and end him. You guys see that mascot over there? Yes. All right, Google Mesh. Let's see what you got. Oh god, this nigga. <laughs> Bro, you're no longer a main priority. God damn it. Let's see about that, man. My resolve has gotten better. Title Legacy. It's in full effect now. White Knight Testicles. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so it's armor. Would have been nice if it altered this entire suit. It's almost like super ghouls and goblins. Or ghosts and goblins. <laughs> Poor monster. Hey. So we don't need. Alright, this is awesome. Here we go. <laughs> nice. He ejects out of the armor. That's cool, man. So we don't need Parade up in us anymore. That sounded so wrong. Hooah, get ready for a gold rush. Yeah. That means he can't get hit even if he wants to. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, get it. Yeah, it's like a... Delayed response. <laughs> oh my umu. Cindy. Yeah, just watch him get ready to set up an attack. Who will prevail? You decide! Oh god, girl, get the fuck out of the way. What does it matter? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> He's probably tired of being an afterthought. I must sulk in my own loneliness.
Bro, you shouldn't feel that bad. Like, you got to take all the blame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Man, welcome back. Classic red jacket. Oh yeah, more the merrier. You. How does that work? What does he mean? And that's why he eats sugar daily now. Didn't realize what he had until it was gone. Hit these motherfuckers go in this hot leather. And pull up. Really? Man, don't you come in here with this copyright bullshit. That don't mean nothing. Square up. He's gonna take on both of y'all chumps. Damn. Oh. Really? Yeah, you gonna try to come in and steal the W? Dead. <laughs> Diving punch. That doesn't work on him, though. Yeah. Fight me, nigga. Mm. Super kick. Really? So is the Muteki driver or Gashat draining him? Wow. So if Parad ceases to exist, that means he can't use the form anymore. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I don't think so. Bitch, you can try. Mm. Okay. 
Why don't the monsters ever go as hard as they do like when they're in their rider form? Oh, shit. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I was like, they usually punish them when they're all suited up in their ultimate, their Kamen Rider forms, but. Damn, he's all bloodied up. Shit. Ew. Oh my god. I guess I got what I asked for. So now he's gonna have to perform his doctor duties. Get these clowns out of the way. Hmm. Hell yeah, freeze them in place. Yeah, you better help your mans over here, man. He like he might die. Yeah, you don't notice this guy over here? I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay, so what are you trying to say? You're not going to make it? <laughs> In layman's terms, I'm pathetic. Well, I guess they won't be getting together. Well, ain't this about a bitch? But guys, that right there was episode 37, Resolution of the White Knight. So, man, as soon as this man gets control of his White Knight abilities, all of a sudden we have another cash T on our hands. And this time, as soon as we get Korea back, we now have Taiga who's perishing at the hands of the Bucksters, particularly with Graphite. I don't know why, he just felt like he needed to jump into that fight. It seems like... um. Hero, he has a lot of power at his fingertips, and he could easily do away with both Parade and Graphite, but no, it's like Tiger just threw himself up in there, realizing till it was too late that he was outmatched, man, and now he's vomiting blood, he's bleeding internally, and he's essentially bit the bullet, which, you know, like I say, I uh, feel like him and old girl, they was becoming more and more of an item, you know, even though they act like they hate each other. You can tell that probably behind the scenes, it's probably some love going on there. Not in the way that I'm trying to suggest, but you know, they, they mutually like each other. I feel like they do. Ain't no girl just going to shed tears like that over somebody that they don't care about. So, yeah, um... Now, I guess it's going to be Hero realizing that this probably isn't his best interest to do, you know, just working alongside Masamune and doing his bidding in order to bring his wife back to life or his girlfriend back to life. It's causing people to get hurt, you know, and he's going to have to pick a side in this somewhere down the line. Um, now we have this whole thing, like we got the, what was that, the, the Chronicle Driver that seems to be another thing that they need to get, the... Uh, the right the Kamen Rider Chronicles gas shat and that's gonna essentially be like uh, the thing that actually helps them turn the tide up in this Kamen Rider um, Chronicle battle so yeah we're gonna have to get that we really we really need that right now there's a lot of different moving parts up in this whole tournament that they got going on you know like you have the Kamen Riders doing their thing you have Gim the corporation doing their thing continue uh, 
continuing to build up their brand and you also have Parade and Graphite causing their own problems. So yeah, I think those guys have kind of been overdue for a uh, rider kick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just don't feel like they contribute much, but I guess they need those guys alive in order to make sure that Emu is able to retain his rider form. You know, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the whole reason why he was able to get the form is because of the genius gamer M. You know, so yeah. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead. And, well, before I even say let's go ahead and jump over to the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and put a rating on this. S. <laughs> Are you surprised in the slightest? S. Very good episode. You know, the stakes are high, so you can expect nothing less from these. But yeah, now we're going to move on to the next episode, which is titled Period with Tears. It's going to be a whole lot of crime. We're going to have a funeral. Let's see. Here we go. Dr. K yeah, where is he? Why did he run? Right, how, how hard is it to kill those guys, bro? Instead, you're gonna let Tiger get killed. <laughs> Nigga! That's why you ain't no real doctor, bro. If you gonna turn down this surgery, saving somebody's life, like fuck that nigga <laughs> click whoop uh, say less man whose shoes are those please tell me that's who I think it is for all you know it might be Masamune's bitch ass okay there we go just have to make a dramatic entrance What? Oh, okay. What if his heart's not in it? No pun intended, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be that easy, though, bro. Hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Enough of the mushy shit. There you go. Y'all really think you're gonna beat him just because he can't pause? Man, this nigga has all kind of abilities, man. What kind of coin is that? Uh oh, he's beefed up. What we got now? Oh shit. <laughs> Metal Mario mode. Hey man, watch out, bro. <laughs> now y'all want to run. Yeah, can beat both of y'all asses. You gotta get enough to get your ass whooped. <laughs> Why do they look like kids that don't have a chance in hell, man? They they are really trying their hardest. <laughs> Commercial value. 
I like how he speaks from a corporate executive perspective. <laughs> oh god, I knew there was going to be a catch. You're gonna do accidentally stab him, say that the scalpel fell up into this guy's chest cavity. Mm. <laughs> Break the walls down. Uh, whatever, I got 93 more. <laughs> this man got sent back to the hospital. Kind of shit. What you gonna do, Nico? Oh, so yeah. Yeah, she gets on my fucking nerves. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, you don't know if he made that decision or not, girl, so you can't be jumping to conclusions. The fuck, bro? <laughs> Been waiting to give you this beating for years. It's a pleasure killing you. Oh, wow. He's lost 23 times since. My goodness, so he's had his fair share of ass whoopings. <laughs> right. You tell you take all these L's. Man, only thing we gotta do is crack that fucking code. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight you in my rider form. I'll beat you in my business clothes, nigga. Civilian style. Boss status. I mean, most millionaires aren't. Was it a success? He's all sweaty now. <laughs> hey man, what's going on, bro? Not cut. Okay. So this is a confirmation that you've saved today. You're gonna live up to your name. Nice. Okay.
Look at you. Bro, she's just fucking data. Okay. Uh oh. Who gives a shit? You ain't finna hold this over my head. Man, we gonna get your girl back. Buggle up. <laughs> There you go, man. They look good together. I would say the design has somewhat changed on his base costume, like the, the patterns. Uh, I just feel like the blue clashes with the white. That's just me, though. Yeah, bitch. Own power used against you. Number 100. Strike it. Oh, like how you did that. Ooh, that ain't going to help you either. You think that chrome digizoid armor is going to really protect you, sir? Damn. <laughs> that just going to control alt delete me, nigga. Man, that's a whole move. I like how the armor looks like it's made out of old marble. He made the ultimate sacrifice, man. That was his only chance that he had. Nice. I like it. Let me get you. All right, getting all bashful now. 
guy right here, man. You can't take him anywhere. But guys, that right there was episode 38 titled Period of Tears. So yeah, we had our time to mourn, but thankfully our mourning was all in vain because Tiger, he's going to be all right. He's on the meds. I'm not sure if that means that he's going to be out of commission entirely for the rest of this season because, you know, it's going to take a while for him to get over his wound. You know, the guy still has stitches on him. But you know how it works up in Kamen Rider world. Nobody stays hurt for too long, you know, especially people that stay dead. You know, they don't stay dead for too long, as we see with uh, Kyria, who is back in full effect. Um, I think it's well established by now that anybody that succumbed to a Bugster virus, they are essentially just data that's going to be saved in a storage area. We just need to gain access to that in order to bring them back to life. So yeah, this isn't going to be your typical get out of jail free card. There's a logical explanation to it and we're going to see how they're able to obtain that luck or way of getting past that, you know, so they can actually bring everybody back to life without having to suffer, suffer any more fatalities or casualties. Um, this new form, uh, the title legacy form, at first I thought I didn't like it because I was like, maybe it, it looked like it was armor over the base suit. But after noticing like the, the design patterns, particularly on the pants, like they're not exactly the same like I thought it was. It, it is like a different kind of schematic going on with that. So I can say that this is a form that's going to grow on me. You know, it's just at first I was a bit confused by the color, you know, white. It's more on the bland side, but after looking at it closely, you can tell that it's supposed to be like this grandiose type of design, which boasts these marble panels on the shoulders and stuff like that. When I look at him and Imu's uh, new power-ups, these level 100 forms, it kind of puts me in the mind of the mega forms that we got from Digimon, if you guys are familiar with that franchise, where we essentially have these anthropomorphic creatures who evolved to become these more deified versions of themselves where that look more humanoid in nature that's what they kind of remind me of especially with the eyes that kind of have that cheebiness to them very reminiscent of what we saw with digimon and the uh, evolutionary forms that we get up in that you know like kind of like uh the golden digi egg forms for uh vmon if i can say that much um it was nice to see everybody just share their emotions especially uh my girl, whose name I can never uh, remember, I forget, uh, Nico, if I'm not mistaken. You can tell that she really cares for Taiga, and I'm telling you, man, there's love there. There is absolute love there. But it was also cool to see, um, basically, Hero kind of live up to his wife's expectations. You know, she said that she wants him to be the best doctor he can be. So what other way than to fulfill that wish than to try to put it towards saving Tiger's life. So sacrifices were made, but they weren't made in vain. And I feel like eventually, um, you know, we're going to see Hero actually save his wife or his, I don't know why I keep calling her his wife, but his girlfriend's life. Um, overall, I'll give that one an S plus. It's very good. Very, very good, man. As we come closer to the ending of this thing, it's going to be nice seeing how they wrap it up into one nice bow. So, yeah. But with all that said, I'm going to end this video. My computer is deciding to shut down on me once again for whatever reason. But what are your thoughts on this? Did you like it? Did you, did you love it? Did this really just hit on your heartstrings? I know I made a lot of puns today, but... It is what it is, man. I can't help the puns that I make. It's just an awesome series. But this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys next time for some more Kamen Rider X-Aid. Peace.